Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Trace video, and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We're going to be in Helmet Cam, and board the TM SMX Supermotard Competizione 2015 model of this bike. Here in Brands Hatch, <laughs> of course, Brands Hatch. Usually, in the career mode, they give you sort of British tracks, um, Brands Hatch, Snedston, etc. Usually with the Supermotor bikes, because, well, obviously not very quick, so if they were to give you something like the Norge Life, it would be... Bloody, bloody annoying, as we drive between two twins there, wearing exactly the same liveries and uh, helmets. We are up into fifth place after a pretty decent start. Using the helmet cam today, I thought I'd change it up. It was John who recommended the Supermoto, and I went a little bit further and added the helmet cam for a bit of immersion. Oh, there's been contact down at the front. I didn't see who it was, but someone's down. Someone's ended their British Grand Prix very, very prematurely. So it's now a battle between four riders at the top of their craft. Top Trace, Charles Cooper, Eduardo Brandi and Serio Aki. The Japanese rider, he's up into second place. Hanging in there next to the Italian, but we're going to go around the outside of them both. We're not quite able to keep it sticking into turn two for Druids. We will continue to pursue the Italian and Japanese rider. Waiting for the right moment. There's going to be five laps here at this magnificent track. A little bit of a bump there from Charles Cooper, the fellow Brit. Getting in the way. Nothing too much, though. Eduardo Barandi. He's lining up a move. He's having to think about it here. He's not going to be able to make it there, though, into the Clark curve. It's looking menacing. So we go a little bit wide here and pick up ourselves two tenths of a penalty time. Damn it. <laughs> I do hate getting penalty time as we rock it through both uh, Aki and Barandi. Gorgeously done. As we uh, enter turn one, the Bannock Hill Bend in the lead with the two tenths of a second improvement on our fastest lap. And that looks to be curtains. I am finding that this TM is so much quicker than the Husqvarna that we, that we were using. Both really good bikes, but this TM is very fast. And I think... I made a mistake. I probably should have picked the Husqvarna to keep it a little more interesting, but I haven't used this TM at this point. It was only up to now I started using it, so hence the reason I give it a try. I thought I'd go for this one for a change. Managed to play a lot more MXGP recently, and I must say it's growing on me. It is definitely growing on me, so I, we will be seeing more content on MXGP20 very soon. I've been playing the, the game entirely within helmet cam and it's just completely unplayable from the third person perspective it's just very very awkward to look at and very unimmersive but going in the helmet cam makes it a lot more enjoyable and it actually feels quite nice within the helmet cam so I expect to see more gameplay soon of course back to the action we are well over one and a half tenths of a second excuse me one, one and a half seconds may I add and we're two tenths quicker on this particular lap, so our fastest lap of a 50.694 was probably going to be put in the history books and replaced with the NIS lap that is going to be a 50.516. Good stuff so far, as we have a very, very comfortable lead, providing nothing goes wrong here. We should take the victory and be sipping the carver on the top step of the Brands Hatch podium. So of course, this was John's recommendation to do Supermoto. If you are looking to request something, always let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always there to reply, at least most of the time. I think I reply to every comment. I don't have any uh, miss comments in there. He usually says I've done all of them. But if I have missed any for whatever reason, let me know. And I will get back to you straight away. So it is going to be another victory brilliant stuff as we now move on to another magnificent British track Snetterton so here we are in Snetterton this is a shorter variant of the fantastic track this is going to be a time attack mode the time to get is a 47 700 which I don't think is going to be too difficult this is my first lap attempted on this one and I haven't used the supermoto here in Snetterton, so we're going to give it a try and see how we do. Could be great, could be bad. It feels pretty nice so far. Got some nice 
winding corners for the super motorbike. Definitely a place you can get your leg down. We're running a little bit deep there, holding too much on the brake, but thankfully we managed to keep that bike upright. As we then flick it left for Palmer. Have to be careful we don't run it too deep here. Little kiss of the rumble strip, and we are going to achieve the target time. About a second and a bit. So our final Grand Prix takes us to Asia, in Japan, and to Cuba. We ride together on board the TM SMX Supermotard Competizione. Just wanted to say that again, why not? <laughs> so actually, when I was doing this one myself, I kept restarting this one because it was getting annoying. Someone kept crashing in turn one, literally every single time. And because they kept crashing, everyone was just getting out of the way and I could just escape. And it was frustrating because it was making the race boring. So instead, uh, I kept restarting until that person didn't crash and stayed in the middle of the pack so it could make it a little bit more interesting. I really don't care for making it boring. I've got to commentate the race, of course. I don't want to make it boring. <laughs> so good stuff already up into fifth place. Peng Fang ahead of us. Patrick Holmes. Jade Ramsey leads the scoring pace. We go around the outside there and around the inside. See, look at the speed of this TM. Bloody quick. Very, very quick indeed. So we're around the outside there. It's not going to happen here. But we are eyeballing a move. It's going to come eventually. Coming around the outside here of the Yamaha. We do. He's still there though. Pushing me back. Gal de Jeans. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> well, that's how we're going to call it for now. It's Jay Ramsey in the lead. No relation to the chef, I don't believe. <laughs> That'd be quite impressive. The just kiss the grass there. I've always done that, no matter which bike it is. I've always ended up kissing the curb there. Not sure why or how I end up doing that, but I do. Force of habit at this point. As Ramsey leads this Grand Prix for now. Not sure of how long, though. Because all we need to do is open the throttle and get past. So they're not going to try and get past that way. I want to try and get round the outside or go up, up on the inside. I really don't care for just passing riders on the straight, I just, I just don't find it satisfying at all. I'd rather get them on the brakes or around the outside or wait for them to make a mistake. Pressure them. We are on lap three of five. Scrum Prix is coming to a close, We're not quite to the penultimate lap just yet. But we are eyeing a move oh, on the rumble strip there, bucking and weaving on this TM. We exit turn four pretty nicely. We're going to line her up here for turn five. Can we make a lunge? We've made a lunge. We are now in the lead. Beautiful stuff. Now we accelerate up into turn seven. And we'll flick it left just a little bit for turn eight and then for turn nine. Beautifully done. And we are now leading by a whole second, just like that. This bike is way overpowered for supermotos. So something I wanted to mention, actually, since the update. My feeling is not bad. I think the, the update has improved, but it's still not what it were. I think there's, a st there's still a huge lack of feeling on the front end, because yesterday, again, I think I crashed with the front end. I didn't even know that I was pushing too hard. It seems to be the vibration on the controller. It, it, it's lacking now. You used to be able to feel that where the brake was a bit too much, and now it's just you don't feel anything. So it's sort of a guessing game sometimes if you're going to be braking too hard. I very rarely trail brake that hard anyway, but it's something to mention nonetheless. But uh, with the new update, I've realised they've made things easier again. And I don't know how I feel about this. I'm kind of on the fence because they've made the model affinities easier to get to now. So basically, if you want to do the tech, if you want to be the official test riders for Honda, Yamaha, etc. for the manufacturers, they have now dropped from a level 5, you, have, you only have to get to level 4. Now the track masters, so where you'd only do so many miles on a track, or kilometres in this instance, that has now dropped as well. I don't know when it's dropped to, because a lot of them have all been unlocked for me, which I know they were locked. Like Donington was locked, I needed about 12 more kilometres, and all of a sudden it's locked, unlocked now. Laguna Seca I think is unlocked. Norge Life is unlocked. But I think one of them is like to do a seven lap race on Norge Life, so God knows when I'm going to do that. But um, I'd rather do seven laps of time trial on Norge Life, not seven laps of racing, because the racing is going to be so pointless. 
because the AI just crash all the time. Same as like they do in the Southern 100 in the Northwest. Well, here we are in the final lap. We're going to be oh, going to run it a little bit deep there. Not sure why I got penalty time because I, I didn't really gain anything there. If anything, I lost about four tenths of a second. But the game seemed fit to hand me a twenty-six thousandth of a second penalty. You know what I mean? What is twenty-six thousandth of a second? Unless this is going to go right down to the wire. That twenty-six thousandth of a second penalty does not matter one iota. So here we are in the final corner, turn ten. Jade Ramsey's is not going to catch us, and neither is Mariko or Azora. So that is going to be another Dot Race victory. So guys, as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to let me know whatever videos you want me to cover next. Of course, many, many games left to cover, and many, many races in career mode and tracks to battle on. So upon that note, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Ciao for now.